So whether you're doing business as a sole proprietorship or as an LLC or a corporation, you need to separate your money from your personal accounts to your business accounts. And the best way to do that is probably to just have a business bank account. So today I wanna to share with you what my favorite business bank account is, and it actually just got much better. So I'll be moving a lot of my money from a different bank, which I don't like as much, to my all-time favorite because they finally added a feature that'll make it a lot easier for me to keep more money with them and manage it a little bit easier. All right, I had to move locations because my wife, Chris, is meeting up with somebody here at a different visitor center. But if you're new to the channel or just don't know my story, my name is Anthony. I've been working for myself for about two years now. And honestly, that's given me the freedom to choose where and how I live every day, but building businesses, especially while living in a van on the road, isn't super straightforward. So I wanna share the expertise that I've learned along this two-year journey and what I continue to learn, which is why today I wanna to talk about why this bank account is my favorite and what I look for when I'm trying to determine where to put my money. Especially if this is your first time looking into getting a business bank account, it can be a little bit confusing because there are some fees that are different from a normal checking account. But what I mainly look for are three things. First is that there are no account fees or account minimums. Second is that you have unlimited transactions or at least as many transactions as you think you'll need in a given month. And third is that there are multiple accounts and or buckets that I can put my money into. I have a bunch of different bank accounts for a bunch of different purposes. And lastly, as a bonus, I like to see if they have high interest payments, like they're gonna give me money for putting money with them as a bank because the bank's job is just to lend out money. So I might as well be seeing a little bit of a kickback on that since they're gonna be using my money anyways. Now, up until this past week or so, the account that I'm gonna be talking about in this video really only had two of these. It didn't have multiple accounts that you were able to use. Recently added this feature, which we'll talk about closer towards the end, but Bluevine Bank account is the account that I'm talking about. But to answer your question as to how many accounts I have, I moved back a little bit because these are all the bank accounts that I have at Chase Bank, at Truist Bank, and then just one over here at Bluevine. And Truist, I really don't like as a bank too much. So I'm planning on moving all these accounts under the Bluevine umbrella because they just added a sub accounts feature. So here's why Bluevine right now is just hands down my favorite business account. And we can see most of that when we just look at their opening page when you go onto bluevine.com business checking. So as we can see, it just has the standard advertising copy, but what really gets me are the benefits and lack of fees that this account has. As we can see, there are no monthly fees. There are no overdraft fees as well. There's no minimum balance requirements. There's unlimited transactions and there is a high yield interest, but we'll get to the qualifications that you now need in order to earn that interest. Multiple sub accounts, which is what I'm most excited for. And then you have account access for your team, which can also be your accountant, which is really nice as a small business owner. If you are outsourcing your accounting, they can just have access to this account. These are the main fees that you might have to worry about, but I actually pulled up their full fee schedule, which I'll just throw on the screen right here real quick. A couple things to notice, as I already said, there's no monthly service fees, opening deposit, minimum required deposit, or overdraft fees, which is so nice for a small business account, especially getting started. And that's mostly because this is an online bank. Essentially, it's actually, if you notice in the fine print down here, not a bank, it's a FinTech company. And Coastal Community Bank, which is a member of the FDIC, is essentially the underwriting bank for Bluevine, but you still have FDIC insurance up to $250,000 across all of your accounts there, so you don't have to worry about that. But you don't have any incoming or outgoing ACH fees, which is super important because for instance, on my Truist account, I can't pull money out of my Truist account using the Truist dashboard because I have to pay for it. I have to pull money out through Chase. Another really cool thing is that there are two free checkbooks per year. And then on top of that, you also get a debit card just like any other checking account would have. There is a cash deposit fee if you're going to be depositing into an ATM. But if you go to an in-network ATM, which they'll show you on your app, you don't have any fees for taking out money, which is really nice. Before we dive into how to earn this interest, which is actually really nice, and I need to do it by the end of the month because I totally forgot so far. I have not been doing my accounting super well, to be honest with you because I've been a little bit lazy as we've been in these places. But one thing to know is if you do use QuickBooks for your accounting, this does integrate just like any other bank account would. So this just automatically updates all my transactions in QuickBooks. But let's get into how to earn interest here. And you can earn 1.5% interest on all your money up to $100,000 that you keep at Bluevine. This is subject to change, but I haven't seen it go below 1% even when interest rates were super low, which is why I started using this account, I think a year and a half ago or so. You do have to earn it every single month, either by spending $500 per month with your debit card or receiving $2,500 per month in customer payments to your checking account or sub accounts. There is kind of a workaround with this though and a hopefully Bluevine, well, I guess if they see this, there's really nothing they can do because it essentially will be coded as customer payments. But since I have a bank account at Chase and I'm transferring money from Chase to Bluevine because all of my income runs through my Chase account first, that technically counts as ACH transfers into my Bluevine account, which credit towards this $2,500, which is really nice 
and why I'm so excited that they added sub accounts because now as I'm transferring multiple hundreds of dollars every single month into profit, retained earnings, and all of my operating accounts, it'll go towards the $2,500 because I haven't quite been putting in $2,500 into my owner pay account every single month. And now I'll be able to earn that interest again because of these sub accounts. On top of all this, there's just the basic bank things that you're going to expect nowadays, FDIC insurance, two-factor authentication, and then debit card has all the same protections that you come to expect. If you are to log into your Bluevine dashboard, this is what you'll see. Essentially, it's a really nice interface here. It also is on mobile. You have your checking account, inbox bills, payments, payees, all of this stuff on the side. It does say, if you notice up here, my card has been shipped and it should be received by January 25th. Because I got my debit card, I just haven't activated it because I never use it. You do have your account down here, your available balance, the interest rate, which will tell you how close you are to earning into that interest rate by meeting those monthly goals. And then all of your transactions will be down below, which I obviously don't have in this little screenshot that I took. With the new feature, adding sub accounts, all you basically have to do is click into your checking account and then click add sub account. And you'll be able to add up to five, which I'm probably gonna be doing almost as soon as I possibly can just to get this money out of Truist because they have been nothing but trouble, honestly, to work with. I don't recommend them even though they were free accounts. I did have to pay one fee because they wouldn't refund it to me, but I can't wait to get that money out of there. Bluevine doesn't have any referral or affiliate code, so if you want to sign up, I'll just leave the link down below to their checking page if you want to get those accounts. And if you're interested in how and why I manage my money the way that I do with all these different accounts, check out this video over here, which will give you an idea of how I run my business, and this video, which has a spreadsheet, which helps me allocate my funds in a more efficient manner. If this video is helpful, liking, I think, will help in the YouTube algorithm. Let me know what other videos you want to see, and I'll see you probably from the Tetons in the next couple videos, and then from Yellowstone, and then a bunch of other pretty places.